All right, I'm going to go show you the little uh, uh, the menu for buying things. So what they basically did was they gave you meteor points here. Uh, well, uh, here you can go see my total. Well, my kill death. I usually kill about two and a half people before I die. And uh, that's my best multi kills one apparently, which is I know not the case. So I'm kind of sad now. Um, so I guess it's not entirely accurate. Oh no, that's with the oh, I, I guess it is. So it's it's different per thing. I see. So you can kind of see. I'm obviously a much better sharpshooter mech than I am a assault mech. Uh, so you can kind of see the difference there. I didn't know there's a profile button here. That's kind of neat. And so they have a garage here, which you outload, um, load out stuff. So you have, first of all, experience points, uh, which I can't really show you because I'm, I'm clicking on it. I think that's, I think I have uh, over 1,000. I'm not sure. I, I think that there's maybe something slightly wrong with that. Uh, anyways, um, so you have the option to, uh, so I have my, uh, my sharpshooter and then I have my assault. Oh, actually, that might, that might be exactly how many points I have now that I think about it. I don't know. They're gonna they're gonna rework this, so don't take this as whatever is final, because they're probably gonna find a nice balance. And so you basically you start without a assault mech, and I unlock the sharpshooter obviously right away because this is my favorite class. And so uh, in the first screen, you basically have uh, the your primary and secondary weapon, which are leveling up. Uh, and for some reason, it decided to level this one up and not my slug rifle, which is the one I actually use. And you can see by the stats here, this one does more damage. This one has this, these have both have the same accuracy, but the only difference is the rate of fire is really slow for this one, and the rate of fire is very high for this one. I prefer the lower rate of fire because I can I can spam it. Well, I can't really spam it, but I can basically kind of corner snipe with my other weapon. Uh, so occasionally taking uh, shots at slugs and then and then do like a high amount of damage and then duck around a corner. And so it tells you like heat rate, uh, effective range, uh, rate of fire, and so every class at the moment, as far as I know. Um, I don't know if this is due to change, but they have one primary one and two secondaries, which they can choose between when they're playing, uh, depending upon, I guess, what their preference is and what they're doing. For offensive items, you get uh, charges, which is actually the assault rifle, uh, assault mech's default. I was about to say rifle. And uh, so if I want to buy it, I can spend either Hawken points, which I don't have too many of because uh, I've only played three matches, or I can spend meteor points, which I they, they gave everybody a generous amount so they can unlock what they want. I guess um, there's the detonator, uh, a pilot guided uh, missile that does da a lot of damage. Uh, MG turret, which is like, a, I guess it's a, more of a, a fire support thing. But the, 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 this turret is actually supposed to be used in choke points. So I might actually may benefit more from using the MG turret. I don't know. I'll have to try it. I haven't played this game a whole lot as of yet. So the, in the second slot, you get a defensive item and you either get a repair charge, which uh, allows people to repair, repair stuff, uh, well, like repair faster, you, you, you were noticing me use it. Shield was the other thing I was using, which actually I think I think I, I like. Um, I don't know if I'd use that on my sniper mech. Um, hologram is also kind of cool. Um, that It's a decoy over longer ranges, which is also, I guess, kind of good for dueling other, other mechs at long range. I don't know. I have to give it a try. That was my default, by the way, uh, but I changed to repair because I'm like, oh, I want to repair faster. But, uh, you know, as I said, you were watching me play, and I really wasn't using it at close range. And this last slot here is, uh, uh, as I said, uh, the EMP was like the dead obvious one, and I'll show, I'll show you why. One uh, get, detects enemies, apparently. Uh, I guess it detects people more, more quickly, or like it detects everyone no matter what, because people can be hidden from radar, especially infiltrators and things like that, I'm guessing. Uh, I don't quote me on that. Uh, and there's also Raider Scrambler, which scra scrambles, like, it allows you to sneak up on people, which is the thing I'm worried about when I'm playing Sharpshooter uh, mech, but uh, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen anyone use this effectively. It's the EMP, I think that's the main, the best item that, you, that everybody wants. And there's a bunch of uh, upgrades here, so this is, um, I guess, the as, the as you level this mech, uh, what you'll get. So apparently, um, apparently, I'm gonna eventually get my ability damage uh, higher. So it's not—they're not, I guess, supposed to be very big changes. They're just subtle changes to make you make you better and keep you playing. Uh, and then here I have, ooh, I got another rank. No, I didn't. I lied. I don't have any more points left. And so they have a, a whole skill tree here of things I can do. So I, I was obviously going for weapon damage uh, first because I like those big high weapon. Uh, uh, weapon weapon da damage things, and I'll probably like. Um, I don't know about the heat. The heat's not too useful for me. Uh, so, and so on like that. Um, and there's like movement. So obviously if I was playing that scout mech, I'd maybe work more into this because I was trying to, 
I didn't really increase my walk speed, but maybe my acceleration rate or something uh, I'd want to. These don't seem like they make a huge amount of difference. Uh, they're very subtle, so I think you're just supposed to specialize in something, and then you it makes it it gives you a bit of an edge, but not too much. And this one is a bunch of customization options. Uh, I've already I think I I didn't pay for this. Like you can do this, but I paid for like a I think I paid for another nozzle. Yeah, I paid for bright red nozzles. Uh, which is like, as I said, this is all going to reset later, so I'm not being a whore, which I'll, I, I don't know. You know, 260 is a rather steep price for this, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. Uh, judging about, I don't know how much you actually get. And then uh, this stuff is, you get you get a, a, a camo, so I can make myself Yoshi green. And uh, you can change, apparently, uh, saturation, so I can be, I don't know, I can be Gears of War or uh, Super Mario. And scale just appears to change the texture scale or something. I don't. I don't really know what it does. And then there's these rim highlights, which uh, there's just very subtle little colors. So it's that's a very subtle customization. This one's free. The paint is not. Uh, but you know who really cares about that stuff? The it's the upgrades you mostly care about and the and the offensive items. So it's going to be interesting to see where they bring this game. Um, I'm quite interested in this, and I, I really hope they continue to to really uh, nail it down and fine tune this game because I I really like it. Um, so you can expect some more videos of of, of me playing this down the pipe because I, I I really enjoy this game, and I'll I'll see if I can get some other people in here with me. But I, I was going to be talking. I knew I'd be talking this entire time, so I didn't bother dragging anyone with me. So I hope you enjoyed uh, enjoyed this game, and uh, please watch for it on on the beta. Um, it's 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 still getting developed, so not perfect at the moment. And I'll admit that uh, I don't know how much money I would spend in the game in in this current state, but hopefully they'll work towards this a bit because uh, I've been playing free to play tribes and they've um, re high res has been kind of neglecting that. So this is my next best hope. Uh, and you can also see the mech shop actually. I, I'll see this. So you can test drive the infiltrator, and his ability is a camouflage. So you go. Oh, so he cloaks. So that's what he does. So they're giving you a free test drive so you can kind of try it out and see if that it's something you'd want to play. Berserker is apparently, um, I'm guessing, just like a close range kind of guy. So he gets, so he looks like a, a, a variant of my assault, uh, no, not assault, uh, of my, yeah, well, I guess of my assault. Uh, and he's, uh, he's a bit faster than that. I don't know why it allows me to buy this, because I already have, oh, okay. oh, no, I don't have to buy it. Okay, because I already have Sharpshooter and Assault. I don't know why the buy, 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 buy button is here. Um, Brawler is, uh, it's slow armor repair. So he's getting repaired while he's doing that fortification thing, which is kind of interesting. And he gets, uh, he gets a rocket, a spiral rocket that's dedicated, that's detonated midair and a flat cannon. That looks kind of cool. Or you can get uh, oh the S A Hawkins, which is uh, the thing I have here. Uh, so some of them are repeating, I guess, and they actually show you some things. And then this guy gets a mobile turret, so you can go like two turrets. What a baller! And Hellfire missile. So this is the Hellfire missile guy, the rocketeer I was talking about. This guy's actually pretty cool too. For anyone who likes uh, being a be big beefy guy, they'll like this guy. So I'll, maybe I'll I'll show some gameplay videos of most of these guys, but I don't have enough uh, money to. Uh, I ran out of meteor points. I, I shouldn't have spent it on cosmetic items. That was a stupid idea. Oh well. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll put it in my mech. My thing. So maybe I'll do some infiltrator stuff a little later. And this is how you buy stuff. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I cannot complete transaction. See you guys later.